I'm Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, September 23rd, 2005, Hurricane Rita made landfall between Sabine Pass, Texas and Johnson's Bayou, Louisiana as a Category 3 hurricane. Mandatory evacuations were ordered throughout the coastal cities in anticipation for the worst. The Texas Department of Transportation implemented a contraflow lane reversal on interstates leading away from the coast. However, the effects were not nearly as severe as anticipated. Winds blowing offshore in Texas weakened the surge to 7 feet well below the Galveston seawall. Its lowest minimum pressure dropped to 895 millibars, with the highest sustained winds peaking at 180 miles per hour. Rita broke numerous records. Only once before had a name starting with an R been used for an Atlantic storm. It caused $11 billion in damage along the U.S. Gulf Coast, making it the ninth costliest storm in U.S. history. It was the earliest 17th named storm in the Atlantic hurricane season. The greatest one-hour pressure drop in the Atlantic Basin and the most intense hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, breaking Katrina's record set only three weeks prior, five years ago. I'm Mark Bencuso.